So what's going on, Gas Gang? Today, we are back with an absolutely legendary video. We're finally there. I can finally tell you about my VR6 all-wheel drive Cupra build. Guys, trust me when I tell you it's been worth the wait. This stuff is gonna blow your mind. Stay tuned for this one and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gap. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So yes guys, as the intro said, today we are back with my all-wheel drive VR6 turbo build and a hell of a lot has changed. Forget what you think you knew, now we're going to tell you the new spec. But before we get there, I think a quick recap is in order. Let's talk about it. So my mighty See It Leon Cupra 290 started life on the channel, bone stock, near on three years ago now, to take the role as my new daily. However, as usual, things escalated quickly. The first stop was to the wizard Litco Ben at Devil Developments to get more power. We then set out about building something special out of its EA 888.3 2 litre turbo power plant with the sights on building a fast car. Whilst the new engine build took place, on a random drive off camera, disaster happened. Due to a PCV and catch can issue, I cracked a piston and lost an engine. But luckily, it happened just in time for the built engine to drop straight in. With a freshly forged engine and that Litco magic, the car made a spicy 606 brake horsepower from its little 2 litre turbo engine and we set about having some fun in the car. Whilst having the car run at that crazy power level, we managed to break the record for the world's fastest Mark III manual Seat Leon Cupra, running 100 to 200 kph in just 5.85 seconds. A record that to this day, two years later, is still yet to be beaten. And after pretty much completing the Cupra game, me and the wizard decided it was time to take things to the next level. And an idea of a VR6 Turbo Cupra was born. Myself and non-car guy James then went on and picked up a lovely little 3.2 litre VR6 Audi A3, ready for the insane transplant. And then, silence. Almost two years of no updates or mentions of the build, everyone thought we'd given up. But when I promise I'm gonna do something, I make it happen. And today, we share with you the new spec and crazy update you've been waiting for. Ben, welcome back to the channel, brother. Hello. Bro, it's been a long, long time. It's been a while. A it's long a while, time, yeah. a long time. We've decided with this build now to go big or go home. This is true. <laughs> yeah, it's true, yeah. <laughs> you know, to, to have something special nowadays, the numbers that are banded around are getting silly. It's madness, isn't it? It is getting right. silly. So, yeah, um, in 10 years or so, it's like... Yeah, it's exactly. Up, it so. is moved. And um, bro, we are moving with the times, let's say. Bro, please tell us about our new engine setup. So we were going to use the 3.2, so the R32, mm -hmm. uh, but because of the power level we want to reach, we need as much displacement as possible. Yeah. So we have an R36 Passat engine. <laughs> it's got a different uh, V angle to the R32 as well. That's good to go. It's obviously been decked as well. Yep. This has been drilled out for bigger head studs. And that's a Gravitune special custom bolt. Yeah, they're a, they're a very hard material. Yeah. Um, again, because of what we want to run. Yeah. The boost pressure or cylinder pressure will try and lift the head off. Yeah. So essentially, R36 now, guys, no messing around. This is the daddy when you're talking VR engines, ready to pretty much be built. Uh, Stock crank. That is the forged crank version, which is very important. It was a cast one, we blow it to bits. It's just had the journals polished on it. Check the balance, it's all happy. Yep. That's good to go. So, should we come over here now? We've got a lot of bits, and a, a bits. shout out to uh, Gravitune on this one because we have been working with them, bro. Talk us through this array of shiny. Whoop, we won't go like too far over there. Wherever you like, sir. Every engine you build, doesn't matter what it is, 
always new factory genuine oil pump. This is actually obsolete now, but found one on eBay. We there did that. There you go. Main bearings, these are just ACL race bearings. Mm -hmm. We're going to plastic gauge them and check the clearance. Yep. Again with the rod bearings, they're coated. Yep. Factory thrust washers. Forged pistons. Come on. Um, they are DP pistons. Okay. Very thick around here. A little bit heavier um, than most, but again, because of the piston, you know, the power we want to run, needed. Yep. Very funny design. Yeah, you can see it. a V that. engine but with a flathead, yep. so you actually have, have an angled piston. It's very odd. They are tall steel pins, thick walled. Yep. That's a normal forged piston pin. Yep. That's because the sort of power, mm -hmm. you can actually snap the pin. Forged rods. Okay. It's an I beam rod, not drilled. Okay. Um, because we want to keep the oil pressure as high as we can. Yep. So obviously, VP bolts there as well. Got you. Uh, we've got the Gravitune uh, girdle. The idea being that you run a girdle, so you're essentially bolting the main caps to the outside of the block to stop it flexing. Got you. A lot stronger. So once it starts to flex, it will break. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, cylinder head, very different to the L32. The actual port size is huge. Got you. Obviously, you've got different size ports because one cylinder's there, one cylinder's at the front. Yep. Very strange design. <laughs> uh, we've got Supertech inlet valves, Supertech exhaust valves. Yep. Uh, Ferrera valve train, so yep. or Ferrera springs and containers. Yep. Head's been ported. Uh, a friend of mine, Chris Shaw, has ported it. We're deleting the DI uh -huh. injection, so it'll be running port injection. Also, with the head, one thing to mention, we have got custom Gravitune uh, cams coming. Yes. Um, they didn't yep. make it in time. They are coming next week, which is a shame. So we're going fully built, port and polished head. Um, I believe the valves, exhaust valves, one millimeter plus one millimeter. Exhaust valve plus one millimeter uh, inlet stock. Yep. The inlet, if you look at the inlet, we actually have two valves out for the. You know, so you can see it. Yep. Inlets are actually quite big. Yep. Um, yep. But it's also we'll actually take plus wheel one millimeter on the stock seat. It's got 24 new guides in it. Yep. Yep. Uh, stem seals, all that sort of stuff. So that's good. Ready to go. Should we come over here because we have more bits too? A massive shout out to Gravitune. Honestly, Gravitune have um, they've been a, a massive help. So a massive shout out to Miguel through this. We're working hand in hand with them. Uh, custom intake money here. Yeah. Big pedum. Yeah. Uh, bigger throttle body. Um, it's only tacked on because. No one's put an R36 turbo with full drive and all that stuff yep, in yep. A, a, you know, an MQB chassis. Mm -hmm. Fuel rail, because obviously stock, it has DI, so that's not there. Yep, pretty much ready to go. Um, also, bro, you did mention four-wheel drive. Yes. Now, um, I'll cut to some shots of it. Um, you've already done the four-wheel drive yep. set up on it. <laughs> Box drain, got the hold, so it's the fuel tank and the, like, the whole rear end, basically. Uh -huh. New brake lines, things like that. Mm -hmm. That's it. So guys, it is four-wheel drive. Yes, the car is still four-wheel drive, obviously, because we need to put this power to the ground. Now we have a, uh, a piece of artwork here, in fact, in two different... Massive shout out once again to Gravitune, because this is the exhaust manifold for the R36 from Gravitune. But you see it's looking very, very shiny in its Thermomet protection. Guys, you might have heard me mention Thermomet before. It's a company I've worked with, in fact, on most of my builds, because when it comes to heat management, they are the best in the game. Um, there is some people out there trying to do this kind of stuff, but no one's doing it as well. This looks as good as the stuff you see on OEM cars uh, for heat management. Uh, a little bit of heat wrap's okay, but if you really care about your car, you don't put heat wrap on it. As soon as it gets oily, it's just gonna set your car on fire. The temperature that this knocks off uh, from the engine bay is insane. And once again, it just does the job and it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is a twin scroll. Yeah, T4, twin T4, scroll. Twin yeah. scroll. Um, reason being twin scroll, Twin scroll spools up better. Mm -hmm. You're going to spool the turbo better because of the cylinder pulsing. Yep. So you've got twice the amount of pulsing. It's half the size, but it gets it spooling quicker. Got it. That's what we want to do. Sick. So there you go, guys. Obviously, twin scroll, you have to have two waste gates. Yes. So, so we've got one Which there. going out the bonnet. And yes, we're going, bonnet, going, yeah? going the we're going out the bonnet, yeah? It's going to be Larry. It's going to be Larry. So once again, massive shout out to Firmament. Guys, check links in the description for these boys. As I say, I would only put you onto the best people, and these are the best in the game. So please check them out. If you're serious about your car, you do serious stuff to your car. Now, obviously we've got to make some steam and I don't know, in fact, have I told him how much power this engine should be capable? I don't think I have so far, have I? I don't think so, no. no. All right, cool guys. Well, listen, numbers are getting thrown around wildly nowadays. So I'm just going to come out and say, this engine build should be capable of 1500 brake horsepower. We're going to work our way up. However, uh, we want the car to be fast, but the engine is ready for that. Now to make that kind of steam, our first revision turbo is, yep. uh, is a big boy. It is a big boy. Yeah. Should, we, should we show them the big boy? It's a big old lad. All right, cool. So uh, Ben, introduce that humongous dustbin lid to us, please. It's a G42 1200. <laughs> um, we bought a, a, a no-name version of it. Yep. Um, because obviously, Litco, we're going to 
basically put in all our own stuff in the core and make a G42 hybrid. Yep, yep. Um, because we want to lighten it up a little bit. Earlier, I um, I put a Coke can next to this just to kind of give you guys a, a kind of a, a true kind of feel for how big this turbo actually is. I mean, it makes that, no sense. That is a precision 6466. That is a... Oh, eight, so that's the 6466, yeah? That's an 800 horsepower turbo all day long. So 6466 and uh, a man's turbo, should we say. So uh, yeah, guys, we are gonna... Yeah, this, this is gonna be mad. It's, it's gonna be fast, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be crazy. There has been a, a mad hiatus on this build. It's taken a long time to get to where we are. But um, what I do wanna do is promise you guys that now we, sh we didn't wanna show you this video. I didn't wanna kind of do ibby dibby bits like towards this build before I knew that we were gonna be able to continue this. There's a reason I waited this long, collected all the parts, we are ready to go. And from now on, things will be moving with this car. You guys are literally gonna see perhaps the build of the year, literally in the UK. It, it's gonna be crazy and it is happening now. Like massive apologies, it's taken this long to, to get to where we are, but trust me, I've invested a lot in this build and it's gonna be absolutely crazy. Um, now, they haven't seen the gearbox at the moment. There is no gearbox. Um, no, no. We, we, we've got a couple of gearbox options, funnily enough. We've got an MQ500, which is the manual out of a Tiguan. Yeah, manual, good gearbox. Um, Needs a modifying to fit, mm -hmm. but you could DQ500 it, yes. which would be the obvious choice. Great gearbox, but yep. but we're not going to say too much more. We're not going to say too much more. You're, 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 yeah, yeah. You're left to your own devices. Right? Yes, that, yeah. I was left to my own devices, and if you know me, you probably know where we're going with it. But I'm not saying anything because the video on that is going to be absolutely sick too. But trust me when I say go big or go home, I'm not messing around with this build. I'm telling you, I'm not messing around with this build. Here you have it. We've got pretty much all the ingredients to make one of the craziest cars um, that the UK has seen. I I'm, I'm talking, yeah, it it's full send. So a massive shout out to Gravitune because obviously Miguel at Gravitune has been a massive help on this. Ben from Litco, he has been a massive help on this. We've been scheming for a long time and finally at a level to show you what is going on. We've got the big boy. We've Str got the Very strange engine. It's a V. Yes. It's a V engine, VR, so it's actually V, oh, so it's a V around six, so it's a V okay. straight six. Yeah, 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 yep. Flathead, so yep. pistons are funny angles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rubbish engine in standard form. Sorry, R32. <laughs> it's two, when that came out, it had 240 horsepower, the R32. Yeah. The same year, 3.2, 24 valve, six cylinder, the M3 had 343. There you go, there you go. You know. They sound good. They sound good. They sound yeah, good, yeah, yeah. but yeah. But ours is gonna sound good and it's gonna be fast as hell. So, um, just needs boosts. That's yeah, you need to do. just needs bo That's boost. Boost solves everything. Boost is the answer, That's right, man? <laughs> there you go. So guys, now you know, I, I, I'm probably missing a hell of a lot of stuff right now. Um, but once again, a massive shout out to Gravitune, um, uh, Thermomet, you know, Litco. It's going to be a madness and we are about to get this popping right now. It's been a long time since I saw the car. The car, don't get me wrong, it's been sitting in the corner. It was all dusty, but right now we gave her a nice clean up and she's ready to go. A big empty space where the belly of the beast used to be. And also what I will say is, Near on two years ago, we set out to build this. This was the fastest manual Cupra Mark III in the world. I still don't think anyone's beat that. Has anyone I, beat I that? I haven't seen anyone. I, don't, I still I don't, don't think anyone's beat that. 100 to 200 times this ran. Um, and we're just about to completely kill the Cupra game. It's, it's a crazy one because no one would let me forget about this build. Not that I ever wanted to. I still, in every video, in, in every Instagram post, there's always someone asking what happened to the Cupra build. Well, now you know. It's full send strapping because it's going to get crazy. I mean, it's worth mentioning as well. The Cybex that we had on it will oh, yes. run, we'll run that. Cybex management again. We'll run that again. Yes. Ben, once again, I'll spudge out and say thank you, man. Um, we are really going to do this big time and we are ready to go. So, yeah, guys, this one has been a long techie one, but, you know, hopefully it's been worth the wait. As I say, go big or go home. This is going to be insane. It is literally going to be insane. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit subscribe right now, because, as I say, along with all my other crazy builds, this one is, I don't know, this one might just top it. I, I do not know, but it's going to be excited. mad. I'm excited, and I don't get excited about If Ben's excited, excited. Yeah. yeah, you guys better get excited. So um, there you have it. We are finally here. Um, literally, Ben was going to assemble this engine before I come, and I was like, now nah, I want to come now. Um, so the next time you see this uh, engine it will be assembled it will be in the car uh, hopefully a few weeks from now so um yeah man watch this space once again a massive shout out to everyone involved i know i'm bigging up a lot of people right now but it's taken a while should the to get to it go out the bonnet as well should it go out the should, yeah yeah go on. Where, where where's where should the exhaust go leave it in the comments right now yeah it'd be four and a half inch exhaust so should it, should we go up or should we go down okay all right there you go we'll leave that one to you guys whatever gets the most likes up or down we're doing it that way. And uh, yeah, once again, massive shout out to everyone involved and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Peace out.